good morning my dear students welcome to the discussion on the topic development of surfaces under development of surfaces we are discussing now development of lateral surface of truncated cylinder for the development of lateral surface of truncated cylinder we are using parallel line method this parallel line method is also called stretch out line method this is the third solved problem we are discussing under parallel line method then we will enter into the problem the given problem is a cylinder of base diameter 50 mm and axis 65 mm is resting on ground with its axis vertical it is cut by a auxiliary inclined plane inclined at 45 degrees to the hp passing through the top of a extreme generator and cuts all the generators draw the development of its lateral surface now we will extract the data from the problem this is the cylinder and it is resting on its base on hp and axis parallel to vp its base diameter is 50 mm axis height is 65 mm the cylinder is cut by an auxiliary inclined plane which is making an angle 45 degrees to the hp and passing through the top of the extreme generator and cuts remaining all generators after cutting the cylinder with section plane the material above the section plane of the cylinder is removed the material below the section plane is retained the retained portion of the cylinder is to be developed the name of the object to be developed is lateral surface of truncated cylinder and cylinder's base diameter is 50 mm axis height is 65 mm auxiliary inclined plane inclination with hp that is section plane inclination with hp is 45 degrees then the section plane is passing through the top of the extreme generator and it cuts all the generators of the cylinder and the section plane is making an angle 45 degrees to the hp that is the section plane is making an angle 45 degrees to the hp and it cuts all the generators and it is passing through the top of the extreme generator here the cylinder is resting on its base on hp and axis parallel to vp after cutting the cylinder with section plane the top portion of the cylinder is removed only the portion of the cylinder below the section plane region is to be developed so with this basic information we need to develop the lateral surface of the truncated cylinder as i said earlier the cylinder is resting on its base on hp and axis parallel to vp so as a first step draw true shape of the base of cylinder that is circle in top view after drawing the circle in top view then we will draw front view of the cylinder front view it is a rectangle after that we are going to cut the cylinder with section plane and section plane is making an angle 45 degrees to the hp and passing through the top of the extreme generator and the second plane is making an angle 45 degrees to the hp that is we are going to cut the cylinder after cutting the cylinder the top portion of the cylinder material is to be removed and the portion of the cylinder below the section plane is to be developed this portion of the cylinder is to be developed with this basic information we will enter into the detailed development of the lateral surface of truncated cylinder as a first step draw xy line then the cylinder is resting on its base on hp and axis parallel to vp so the top view of the cylinder is a circle so draw circle in top view with radius as 
25 mm After drawing the circle in top view, then divide the circle in top view into 12 equal parts and name those divisions as A, B, C etc. for bottom base and A1, B1, C1 etc. for the top base. This is the top view of the cylinder that is circle and we divided the circle into 12 equal divisions. A, B, C etc. are the division points on the bottom base of the cylinder and A1, B1, C1 etc. are the division points on the top base of the cylinder. After drawing this top view then Project the division points on the top view to the front view and then draw the generators and height of each generator is equal to the axis height of the cylinder which is equal to 65 mm. This is the front view of the cylinder and each generator's height is equal to 65 mm which is equal to the axis height of the cylinder. Now name the bottom base of the cylinder as well as top base of the cylinder in front view. For bottom base say A dash comma B dash comma C dash etc. And for top base K1 dash comma B1 dash comma C1 dash etc. Here a dash, A1 dash, B dash, B1 dash, C dash, C1 dash etc. Lines are the generators of the cylinder in front view. This is top view and this is front view. That is drawing top view and front view of the cylinder is completed. Then we will move towards drawing the auxiliary inclined plane which is making an angle 45 degrees to the HP and passing through the topmost point on the extreme generator of the cylinder in front view. This is the auxiliary inclined plane which is making an angle 45 degrees to the HP 
and passing through the topmost point on the extreme generator of the cylinder in front view. Here G dash and G1 dash, A dash and A1 dash are the extreme generators. Here this auxiliary plane is passing through the topmost point on this G dash and G1 dash generator. Then locate the intersection points of the auxiliary inclined plane and generators of the cylinder. Here 1 dash is the intersection point of the auxiliary inclined plane and generator A dash and A1 dash. 2 dash is the intersection point of auxiliary inclined plane and generator B dash and B1 dash. Similarly, 3 dash is the intersection point of auxiliary inclined plane and generator C dash and C1 dash. Similarly, we got remaining points namely 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, etc. Now, dark this lower portion below the auxiliary inclined plane. That means only this portion is to be developed whereas this portion is a scrap material. That means we are going to develop only the region which is below the auxiliary inclined plane in front view. Whereas the region above the auxiliary inclined plane in front view is a scrap material or waste material. Now we will do the development of the cylinder that is lateral surface. The method used for the development of the lateral surface of the truncated cylinder is stretch out line method and it's also called parallel line method. So draw two stretch out lines passing through the bottom base as well as top base of a cylinder in front view. After that, locate a point A, another point A here so that A to A distance is equal to circumference of the base circle of a cylinder that is 157 millimeters. Divide A to A line into 12 equal parts by using dividing a line into equal parts concept. Then draw perpendicular to bottom stretch out lines passing through A comma B comma C etc. And height of this perpendicular is equal to the axis height of the cylinder.
After that, draw horizontal lines through 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, etc. to cut the corresponding generators A, A1, B, B1, C, C1 in points 1, 2, 3, etc. Here, 1 is a point on A, A1 generator, 2 is a point on B, B1 generator, 3 is a point on C, C1 generator, 4 is a point on D, D1 generator and we got remaining points on the respective generators. After that, draw smooth curve passing through a, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, A, Now we will see the pencil uses in this drawing. Here the top view of the cylinder that is circle is with H pencil and this red color lines are with H pencil and this pink color curve and this bottom stretch out line also with H pencil and pencil marks here these pencil marks are with 3H pencil. Here also these pencil marks are with 3H pencil, dimensioning is with 2H pencil and make a note, don't dark B22, C23, D24, E25 etc. lines in the final development. The axis height of the cylinder is 65 mm and base circle diameter of the cylinder is 50 mm and circumference of the base circle of a cylinder is equal to 157 millimeters. That is, here all these dimensions are in millimeters. That's about the development of lateral surface of a truncated cylinder. If you have any queries or doubts, you can write under comment section below this video. I will clarify them. Visit again for more videos on engineering graphics using the links provided under description of this video. Keep learning and knowledge sharing. Thank you for watching. If you have any queries or doubts, you can write under comment section below this video. I will clarify them. Visit again for more videos on engineering graphics using the links provided under description of this video. Keep learning and knowledge sharing. Thank you for watching.